Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. In this video, let's create an active and active customers toggle button. I have imported the Contoso data set. And if I go to the data model, you can see I have a sales table and then my other dimensions table. Now, in order to create a toggle button for active and inactive customers list, let me first insert a matrix visual and add customer information in my row header. I will add customer key, customer name, and other required fields for my customer table, like country, city, and age. You can also add fields from other dimensions. Now I will expand all level and then format this matrix to show all the information in different columns. Click on more options here and unselect plus sign. With that, I will disable the step layout as well so that all the row headers will be visible in separate columns. Before I start creating my solution, let me insert a slicer as well so that we can filter our data and analyze active and active customers for each month. In this example, I have data till March 2023. All right. Next, I will create a custom table. I can name it as customer type. I just need a single column where I will enter just two rows called active and inactive. Then click on load. Next, I can insert another slicer and add the customer type column in it. From formatting option, Click on more options and change the slicer type from vertical to tile so that it will look like a toggle button. You can move it to an appropriate place in your report page. At this moment, this toggle button is not functional. And to make it functional, I will create a master filter measure. But before that, let me add a measure which will calculate the latest order date for each customer. For that, I can use calculate function to calculate maximum sales order date. Since I have a year month slicer, I need to use here a filter function and then use entire date table as its first argument. I need dates from this table, which are less or equal to the maximum selected date in my slicer. So that latest sales date for each customer will be calculated based on year month slicer. I will add this measure to my matrix visual. And now I will create my master filter measure, which will filter this table for active or inactive customers. Click on new measure. The measure name I will mention as active and active filter. First of all, I will create a variable name as underscore active list. Here I will calculate the number of records available in my sales table for active date range. In this example, I will assume if someone has an order in last 90 days from the maximum selected date in my slicer that will be treated as active customer. So here I am using the filter function on entire date table with a condition which will give a list of dates which are less than the maximum date but are greater than or equal to the last 90 days. In my return statement, I will start with switch true logic and then validate. If selected value from the slicer is active customers, then I just need to check if my variable active list should not be equal to blank. I also need to convert this result as integer value to use it in my filter. For inactive customers, I need to validate with two conditions. So I will mention, if selected value of customer type is equal to inactive, then first check is, it should not be part of active list. For that, I can mention variable active list is equal to zero. And second condition is, there should be at least one sales order for that customer before or equal to the maximum available date in the context. So I will use this filter function over the entire date table and then validate if date from date table is less or equal to the max date or not. I have also posted a video to create a slicer for new and repeat customers you should check out that video as well. All right. Next, I will select my matrix visual and then open my filter section. There I will add my active and active filter measure as a visual level filter on top of my matrix visual. Value of this measure should always be one, which means I need only those rows, which are satisfying all the conditions in my measure. Now I can select active or inactive toggle button and my below visual will filter for the relevant customers lists and its latest sales order date. These sales dates are from active customers. And if I will select inactive customers, it will only show the customers who don't have any order in last 90 days, but they have orders before that. In this data set, I have maximum order date as March 20th, 2023. And then I can see here my inactive order list will be maximum December 19th, 2022, which is 90 days before from the max date. You can now analyze these inactive customers based on other slicers like products or stores 
and then take a data-driven decision to activate them again by promoting your products to them, offering them discounts, or any other offers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.